Hyperplastic nasal turbinates are a common cause of chronic nasal obstruction. In many cases, the condition can be treated using minimally invasive procedures. Here you can see the use of bipolar radiofrequency-induced thermotherapy to reduce the volume of the inferior turbinates. The treatment can be performed on an outpatient basis under local anaesthesia. First, tetracaine spray is used for the local anaesthesia. Thereafter, cotton swabs, soaked in a 3% tetracaine solution, are placed around the inferior nasal conchi, where they are left for 3 to 5 minutes. To ensure complete lack of pain, the injection of 2 to 3 milliliters of a 2% adrenaline-free lidocaine solution into the inferior nasal conchi is recommended. The injection of lidocaine also has the effect of increasing the volume of the conchi during the operation, thus reducing the risk of mucous membrane damage. Vasoconstrictive substances should not be administered prior to the procedure, as these would induce a temporary reduction in the volume of the nasal conchi. The Celon Pro Breath applicator is used to treat the nasal conchi. For the treatment of nasal conchi, we recommend a power setting of 15 watts. A higher setting of up to 20 watts can be used to treat smaller noses, for instance when treating children. The higher the power setting, the smaller the coagulation. The applicator is inserted into the anterior end of the inferior concha and then advanced posteriorly beneath the mucous membrane. The electrode should be placed as close as possible to the centre between the bone and mucous membrane. Depending on the anatomical features, for example in cases of a deviated septum, it may be necessary to select additional insertion points near the middle or the posterior end of the concha. Once the applicator has been positioned, the power supply is activated by pressing the foot switch. The status of the coagulation can be monitored via the acoustic signal. An increasing pitch of the signal indicates the progress of coagulation and the increasing tissue impedance. The power output is controlled automatically. A high-pitched intermittent signal indicates the completion of the coagulation process. The power output is reduced automatically so that overdose effects are excluded. To obtain a coagulation over the entire length of the nasal concha, the needle is repeatedly withdrawn by around one centimetre and the power control unit is reactivated. The markings on the shaft of the applicator can be used as a positioning gauge. This procedure is repeated until the entire length of the nasal concha has been treated. If the mucous membrane turns white, the power output must be interrupted immediately by releasing the foot switch and the needle must be repositioned. Doing so will avoid injuring the mucous membrane. Volume reduction is apparent after a few days as a result of scarring and resorption of the coagulated tissue. A temporary deterioration of nasal breathing is possible after surgery until the therapeutic effect becomes noticeable. Physiological salt solutions and mild nasal ointments can be used post-operatively. There is typically no need for nasal packing since there is normally no bleeding. The patient should be recalled on the following day in order to check the result and to remove any fibrin formation. Additional treatment sessions are usually unnecessary. We wish you much success using the Cellon method. For more information, please contact Cellon directly or visit our website at www.cellon.com.